Welcome to my tutorial on setting up Java 7 Update 21 on Windows 8. As you will notice, I have the Start button. I have a video tutorial on it, and I'll put up an annotation above it. Okay, and the first step is we're going to go and open up a browser. We're going to search Java SE, and it should be the first link. Scroll down. The latest one right now is uh, Java 7 Update 21. We want the JDK. Click Download. Accept the license agreement. And we want, for me, it will be x64. Select that. Save file. And it will start downloading. Okay, and now that it has finished downloading, we'll go here, go to our downloads folder, uh, just double click. Next, next, next again, and we'll click close. Now that it's finished installing on our system, so we'll close down all this. Okay, and now we'll just make sure it installed correctly. So we'll go to Start, Computer, C Drive, and if it's in the same place I installed mine, it'll be in Program Files and Java. And we want JDK, so we'll see it's all installed. And the next steps will be to just click in this box, and it'll select this path for you. So we'll just copy that, because you're going to need it later. And we'll close that down. Okay, so now that we know it's installed, we're going to have to set up the environment variables. So we'll go to Start, Control Panel, Change to Large Icons, go down to System, advanced system settings and click environment variables okay so the first one we have to set up is the path variable so we'll go to this if you don't see it you can click new if you do then just click edit be sure not to change anything in here as that could very that could hurt your system a lot so we have that path copied so what we're gonna do is paste it in add a semicolon to the front and follow the path along and at the end we're gonna put a slash bin and then we'll just click OK and the next one we have to set up will be in the bottom so we'll go down and find class path if you don't see it, click New. If you do see it, click Edit. And make sure the value in the bottom is a semicolon followed by a period. Then we'll select OK. And the next one will be scroll down right here. So we'll select Edit. Or if you don't see that, select New. We'll scroll all the way to the start. We'll add two semicolons like that to the front, and then in the middle of them, we'll paste in our path, and again we'll add a slash bin to the end, and select OK. So the last environment variable we're going to have to set up is the Java Home variable. So if you haven't had Java on your system before, you won't have it. I've removed it so that I can show you how to add one. So we'll go to New. We'll type in Java Home in all uppercase. And then in the value, we're just going to paste in that path without the slash bin in the bottom. And we'll select OK. So now all our environment variables are set up. 
So we'll just select OK, OK. And now we'll just make sure all of them were saved in there. So go back into Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables. We can see it's in our path. Our class path is still the same. We have our Java Home variable. And we have our path variable. So they're all still there. So we'll close down all this. OK, so now that we are finished setting up the environment variables, you are ready to develop and run Java applications on your computer. Uh, you may need to restart your computer for the environment variables to take effect. Uh, I don't think I have to guide you through restarting your own computer. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and good luck in your Java programming.